In today's video, we will try to determine absolute zero experimentally. The absolute zero temperature is minus 273.15 degrees Celsius or zero Kelvin. We will apply Charles's law to this. The law states, when the pressure on a sample of an ideal gas is held constant, the temperature and the volume will be in direct proportion. This is an apparatus that the French chemist and physicist Joseph Louis Gay Lussac built to investigate Charles's law. And that's the apparatus I built. I will now show you how I built the apparatus and explain how it works. First, I made two brackets from aluminium T slot profiles. The pipe clamp is for the gas syringe, which I will get to later. This time I used an aluminium blade with a thickness of 5 mm instead of a kitchen board as a base blade. The two PCBs in front are a MAC 6675 breakout and a screw shield for an Arduino Nano microcontroller. The MAC 6675 is a signal amplifier with 14 bit resolution for a K type thermocoupler to measure the temperature of the gas. Here is the gas syringe I mentioned earlier, with a volume of 50 milliliters. These syringes are normally very expensive, but I bought this one cheaply on eBay. The piston movement of the gas syringe is detected by a VL6180X time of light sensor. The VL6180X is suitable for distances between 5 and 100 millimeters. The resolution is 1 millimeter. In order to be able to attach the time of flight sensor to the T-slot aluminium profile, I made an adapter from a piece of PVC sheet. Next, the thermocoupler had to be attached inside the gas syringe and an inlet respectively outlet had to be created. Here I came up with the idea of using a T-piece made of glass tubing. The side of the T-piece to be sealed was sanded with a homemade sanding tool, made from a stainless steel rod and some sanding paper bonded to it with super glue. The T-piece was then cleaned with isopropanol. The thermocoupler wire was glued in with two component epoxy resin. The hot air gun was used to reduce the viscosity of the resin. However, as it turned out later, the bond was not tight. I then did the whole thing again off camera. The thermocoupler wire was stripped at the bonding point and the bar wires of the thermocoupler were sealed. In the meantime, I had wired the MAX 6675 and the time of flight distance sensor to the microcontroller. As a reflector for the distance sensor, a white ABS disc was glued to the protruding end of the piston using super glue. Now a stopcock was needed. I used a stopcock that is normally intended for irrigation systems for plants. These are available cheaply from Amazon in packs of 50 pieces. Before the apparatus could be put into operation, I aligned the gas syringe with a digital inclinometer. Next, I had to figure out the volume per millimeter of piston displacement. The volume of a cylinder is given by... Since the piston diameter is exactly 25 millimeters, the volume per millimeter piston displacement is obtained as follows.
I then use those data to write a small program for the microcontroller. It outputs the temperature and volume via the Arduino serial monitor. Since you can't save the data directly in a CSV sheet with the Arduino serial monitor, I looked for an alternative and found what I was looking for. A cross-platform serial monitor and plotter written entirely in Rust by Hecknas. Link in the description. For the experiment itself, the gas syringe is now carefully heated with a hot air gun and the data is transferred to the computer in real time. After the experiment, the data is saved in a CSV sheet as already mentioned. Now the CSV sheet is opened in Excel. The data is separated and a scatter plot is created. The temperature is plotted on the x-axis and the volume on the y-axis. With the trendline tool, linear is selected, which is linear regression. Then the formula and the square of the correlation are displayed. As can be seen in the Excel sheet, the equation of the linear regression is given by since the volume cannot be negative, we set it equal to zero. Solving for t finally yields to absolute zero. The deviation is about 4 degrees Celsius from the actual absolute zero. Not too bad for such a simple setup. By the way, almost all ideal gases have a very similar thermal expansion behavior. If you have any ideas on how to improve the result, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Stay true, stay you.